The only good thing about the controversy surrounding the administration's executive order is it allows us to correct the myths that have grown up uh, around refugee resettlement. Uh, first myth is that America takes more than its fair share of refugees. No, more than 85% of the world's refugees are in poor countries, not in rich countries. Uh, it's a myth that it's easy to get here as a refugee. It's tougher to get to the US as a refugee than by any other route. It takes 18 to 24 months. It involves 12 to 15 government agencies. There's biometric testing to make sure that people are who they say they are. Those are the uh, facts. It's also a, a myth that refugees are not productive contributors to society. It's not just Albert Einstein who founded the International Rescue Committee. It's not just Madeleine Albright, a refugee who became Secretary of State. It's not just that Steve Jobs' biological father was a Syrian refugee. Across the country, there are refugees who are becoming productive and patriotic citizens, and it's a myth to suggest that they're not. I think that the resettlement process that the US has developed, a partnership between federal government, state government, and NGOs like the International Rescue Committee, has enormous strength and can teach the world a lot. It's a successful program. The biggest improvement would be to ensure that those refugees with extra needs, those people who've come here with bigger language difficulties, those here who've missed out on education, that they get extra help to ensure that they can become productive contributors to society here.